Okay, welcome back to MBK Gamer Dad Sessions of Assassin's Creed 2. Oh yeah! That's what I've been wanting to do all day. Finally getting a chance to get on it, so let's, uh, let's see what we got to do. Well, that's from what I remember, we just killed, uh, killed his little rival in the last session. So uh, let's see what Uncle Mario wants us to do now. starting the celebration and why not you've done us a great service nipote with Vieri dead la toscana will grow quiet once more do you know what that means Basta lavorare. si passa tutto il giorno a bere e a puttane what it's true <laughs> <laughs> come it's you walk with me yes uncle Okay, change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages with hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Okay, so let's find this letter. Uh, looks like it's on the table in the room of the codex pages. Look familiar? On the codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Excellent. Okay, so if I remember rightly, it's something to do with Yeah. As you can see. There's something hidden in the messages of these codex pages. Hey, uh, use the map for what reason? There is room, okay. To Tuscany and to Florence. Oh, it's telling me to reach a viewpoint. I've already done the viewpoint now. Ok. 
like uh, it's just reached the viewpoint like it wants us to. Synchronize it again. <laughs> Let the four philosophical codex pages. Right. one oh is that one all the way out there right okay <laughs> let's get to that one Number two, and so we're going to ride back into the, back into the villa. the entrance. Oh, why won't it let me ride in? Okay. We won't ride into the town. Uh, yeah, once you... Come around the corner. It should be just ahead of us. This spooky little alley. <laughs> and then the next one is right across the town. Which would be a lot easier if I was on the roof. Well, something jingling up here, so that must be a feather. The fourth one. Okay. Um, so decoded for us as a little codex pages will increase whatever that just said. <laughs> Exit the sun. Complete DNA. Sequence three. Okay, well, that's that one done. Claudia. 
Monte, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. <laughs> Okay, right, well, no, I've got nothing in there, uh, shops, yeah, things needs, got a lot of work ahead of ourselves, okay, well, chest compatibility 689, is that it, wow, Right, okay, so let's speak to you. My manager. There's something wrong. Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money, <laughs> then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can stand much. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, mm -hmm. you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Yes, that's... Okay, so we've got... Quite a few bits and bobs to buy. We've only got 7,000, so... <laughs> Well, let's uh, start off with the art merchant. This is only a thousand. Then we'll get the bank. And get a tailor. Uh, let's keep them. Let's keep the lads happy and get a brothel. Uh, that's and that will be all, folks. We've all got enough for at the moment. Okay, so let's you here to look at the book? See what the books yeah, I'm here to look at the book. Thank you. Okay. Right, so one thousand two hundred and forty seven florins per twenty minutes. And yet yeah. okay, the chest capacity's gone up to four thousand nine hundred and eighty nine. That's alright. I could deal with that. Not six hundred and summit. I was um, quite pitiful before, but yeah, okay. I uh, I approve. I I approve of this. Let's speak to Uncle again. Oh. 
Oh, okay. So I can actually mess around with them now. Oh, so they can't I can't move them, but I can rotate them. So at least they show you some sort of map. Let's start with the edge pieces first. It's like a puzzle. Always start with the edge pieces first and then make your way around. I don't know about these middle bits, so let's just leave it there. Just speak to Uncle Mario. It's you, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. And there we go. And that's outside his armor right in the middle there. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Outside his armor lays behind the crate. The crate is fixed in place by six locks. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Right. Well, she said it. Let's get that perfect synchronization done. Okay, code is all decrypted. Pages are displayed on this wall. Uh, I think I need to get back to Leonardo in order for him to decrypt. Messages. Ah, uh, the weapons room. Hello. What is that? Maria Thorpe's longsword. Frederick's hammer. Mace of the bull. Dark Oracle's bone dagger. Twins Rapier, Rapier, and Bushort Blade. Uh, I think, to be fair, I might just start. With you, with some of that special weapons wreck. And we've got clothing in here. Oh, 
got I haven't got anything else and there's a special special clothing rack no got special weapons rack but no special clothing rack okay so if I if I've just taken the special sword up there then where's my sword that I already oh there you go with the swords rack common sword yeah. Okay, let's um, get to it. Where am I going now? Ah, that's a friend, yeah. That's a friend, Let's see what they've got. Any weapons? Oh, we've got a few weapons. Okay, armor. A few armor bits. Another time, then. Expensive, really. It's in the first item, only cost you like 1,200. All the rest of it is like 5,000. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, what's this? Aha! Box. That reminds me. Art dealer. Sells maps. Which uncover the location of all the boxes. In these areas, Montenegro. I'll take that, and then that gives me all the locations of the treasure boxes in this area. As you can see, all the diamond bits. Perfect. That means I can actually get as much uh, much of the money as I need to upgrade this place. What have I got left over? I might as well buy some art. As it's part of the game anyway, might as well just get the art bits.
Okay, so so far so good. Picking up the uh, the chests, getting me quite a bit of money. Get the ones on the outside. No, may disappear to thrones and then pick up the rest when I come back. No sense doing it all right away. Okay, let's go. This way takes us straight back to Florence, yeah. Florence, yeah. Florence. Florence. Ah, oh, back to where it all begins. Republic of Orienta, of Argentina. Oh, I need to stop doing these sort of shitty, silly accents. <laughs> Can't even say the word properly, let alone do the accent along with it. <laughs> right, reveal useful information on your map by using viewpoints. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm quite notorious at the moment, am I? If I just popped up right outside Leonardo's house, I have as well. That's some greatness. I'm on the way. Let me take this poster down so people forget about me. You are still alive. Look at this place. <laughs> the past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha! You found another one. How exciting. Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Okay, so I practice several new assassination techniques for well, Leonardo Tinkers with the Codex pages. Excellent. Okay, so. Not in here. Eight pages deciphered. In blade upgraded. Health squares gained. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Hide in the bush. And now I can do kills from a hiding spot. Okay, so. And I can now do assassinations from over a ledge. And now death from above. Mm, that's all I needed. Take it. Try it. 
Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Okay. So now I've got double hidden blades. Hidden blade for each hand, which makes things, I'd say, sweeter. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, repair all, why not? Armor. Ah, oh, fan braces. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I've got enough of that. Not enough of that, not enough of that. Weapons. Just for the collection, I'm not going to actually equip them. Uh, let's just take that. Yeah. Better not be equipped, I swear to God. Ciao, signore. Hope to see you again. Oh, it's bloody equipped here, isn't it? Alright, okay. Point out first before getting there. Find out. Whee. That was lucky. All right, up here. They telling me to kill myself, or are they saying that I might kill myself? Not sure. Either way, it's rather rude. But hey. Yeah, around, around. Welcome, viewer. How do? Uh, okay. A few have just popped up really, aren't they? Um, not seeing any codex pages popping up though. Might need to buy a map for them. Let's go to the next. Ooh, alright, okay. So, Makato Vecchio. Right, so this is yeah, the the marketplace. I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere around here. Oh, that's a feather, so it's nope, not going up that way. To be fair, I'm more interested in this secret thing going on. 
There we go. Hey, do you see what's going on? Not yet, but you will. I think this is the fourth one that I found so far. Okay, so the power they wielded cut down their enemies. Uh, so it's something to do with having a sword in their hand. Um, let's see. Yeah, sword. Sword. Can't really see a sword there. Got some sort of weapon. There's weapons in there. No weapons there. Definitely a weapon there. That's, that's Arthur. Oh yeah, King Arthur, Britannia. <laughs> Sword. And... No, no weapons there. So we'll go there. Sword. Weapon. Weapon. No. Right. Sword. Sword. Don't see that. Sword. Sword. Are we chosen that one? Chosen that one. This one's of the great. He's definitely got to be in there somewhere. Perseus, Attila the Hun. Oh, this one's of the great. King Arthur, Joan of Arc. Yeah. It's definitely swords. And this. Alexander the Great didn't have a sword, but a spear. Samson. He didn't have a sword. 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 There we go. Piece of Eden. 25. Sword. Nice. Found it. In their hands, the wise lean on a great force. Okay, so... I'm not sure what we're looking for here. It doesn't really suggest much. <laughs> Got a lot of funny things to do with sticks. Moses, yeah, it is Moses. Wow. Right, King Louis of France, no, he's not leaning, he's not leaning. He's got a staff, so let's stick with him. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's Achilles in Greece, but no staff. Uh, Give me another tip. Mm. He's got a staff. I can't see his stuff in that one. That one. That one. Yeah, pieces of Eden 34 stuff. Pass gold. Okay, so playing it all. Hmm. Still barely viewable, really. Just trying to get something out of it. Okay, so let's, let's 
climb up, shall we? And, uh, see if we can get that that feather on top of the thing. Oh, completely missed it. Okay. Fox hunt. Locate the vault. The fox. Somewhere near Makato Vecchio. Do it like an assassin should. Target located where? I ain't seen the target. Alright, chill out. Get on to a ring. We'll Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. You know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Yeah, you won't be giving that back as well. Okay, so he's willing to take me there. Thieves. The history about the history of thieves. Just uh, scroll it down slowly, just in case anyone actually wants to read it. Okay, let's crack on. Get to this viewpoint up here, quick time. I will tell my man that we're ready to go. Check any codex around, and that would be a solid no. No codex. Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problem. See you there. Meet level at Santa Maria Novella. Ok, 
Okay. Saying that I can't keep up with you because you climb like that. But it goes just as fast, mate. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Twenty seconds to get to where he is. Come on, man. Give me a challenge. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join <laughs> There are catacombs that are under the city. <laughs> they will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. Alright. Go. Ah, my first crypt. Novella's secret. Infiltrate Santa Maria's novellas catacombs to reach the Templar meeting. Okay. Final location of the Templar meeting. <laughs> Done. Okay. That's where you want me to get to. Is it that done as well? Oh. <laughs> Not like that though. <laughs> okay. Ladder. That's where I started. Okay. Let's do it properly this time. Yeah, it was a bit of a long way for a short car. <laughs> Okay, that's how we're doing it, yeah? 
How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Bat is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. So you got some pressure points or lever points. Let's uh, see what we've got. It's got to be feasible climb points somewhere. Right. Wrong way. Final jump. Just completely messed me up. Always the case as well. There we go. Uh, go across. Right. Now, new skills. Off they go.
Yeah, what big disc on the floor though? <laughs> I've got, I got a funny feeling it's something to do with this. I've got to get up here. And then it's going to be onto here. No, over here. Oh, yeah. Nafta, the door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post, so help me God! Okay. Well, these guys were come out in a bit of force, didn't they? Let's look after. Try and take them out one by one. Best way forward, to be fair. But and could always just jump out and start attacking them willy nilly. Man can't swim. Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. No. You're not going anywhere, mate. I'm going to catch up to you and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> He's not going to get me. You want to bet? Leave me alone! Nope.
of skeletons, man. Hey, Jeez. Res benedictio Dei omnipotentes, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See. Si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding guide us. Guide us. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. I know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't That's understand the this specifics, done. but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. 
if they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. Okay, first assassin's team completed. Grab the first seal. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, so let's just use some medicine quick and get the health back up. What have we got? Is that back to... That's back to Leonardo. Hang on. Another assassin's team up there. No, this way. This way. Lightning strike. It's been for a hundred years. Uh -huh. Assassin's Tomb, then shall we? Stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. And I'm in. So first things first. Up there. Explore the Basilica Santa Maria del Fiore. And find the assassin seal within, hidden within. Let's get done. Find the 
assassin sarcophagus. I know this one being relatively simple actually. So I'll have a way back up in case I fall. Mistake number No. <laughs> Made it one step further this time. <laughs> so it's mistake number two. get there eventually. Okay, straight across here, across there, across there. Central.
least we've got the ladder down here. around and we should be able to climb up that part there as suspected because I saw it glint and so it means there's a box up here which is going to give me some wealth um. oh no well done okay Nope, I have totally messed it up, and I. Okay. Secret area located. Haha. <laughs> it's straight back on track. Oh, right. <laughs> this we going a completely wrong way. Right. Up here. <laughs> what has it gone into that sort of view for? Oh, I wonder why. Oh, 
And we are here. And that's how we do it. Second seal acquired. Oh, handy. The window now opens. I see, now it's good. Give me 2,000 just from doing that. Funny enough, where I struggled to get to before is now where I've just appeared. Alright, well, seems I'll be able to do a leap away from here. All the way to the ground. Silly man. I'm going to catch him. Just because I want to now. Not even a case that I need to, it's just the fact I want to. Come back here. Kill the guy, did I? I just jumped on him. No, no, they're carrying quite a bit of cash on them. Come back here. Wolves in sheep's clothing prevent the conspirators from attacking the Dietschy family. I, I was actually just on it. Lorenzo, 
There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crespa, traditore! Giuliano, no! No! In nome di Dio, ti scongiuro, pietà! Nessuno attacca! <laughs> Leave the best to last. Come here. Where did you feel you were going? What? What just happened? Why did it synchronize?
Nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust. Uh, can you? Ah. Segun. I'll take your own. I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> Hang on, Signor. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Fatti! I'll kill you. I'll wipe the entire family from the sea. They'll be a race! Quietate, vi signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. I had hoped combat could be avoided. Okay, San Lorenzo. Right, that's one I need to do. I do know where it is as well. But I just need to get on there. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, greatest, come in quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me. Why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Alright. I think I'm going to leave it there. But, uh, thanks for watching. Next time, obviously, we're going to kill Francesco de Pazzi. Quite looking forward to that one. And, uh, we'll see where it goes after that. If you're uh, enjoying what you're watching, please, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, drop a, a like and subscribe. If you're on uh, Twitch, drop me a follow. Thanks very much. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.